As always, we start out with Valentine. Uh, she's under, under the desk, busy chewing on a bone. Uh, today, only three books. However, the topic I think everybody will find quite interesting. It is, we are talking about astral projection. Now this particular book is kind of a, basically it's a, a classic. It's considered a classic. The Projection of the Astral Body by Sylvan Muldoon. Let's see what the back has to say. The Projection of the Astral Body is the most comprehensive and detailed study ever written on the subject of astral projection. First published in 1929, it has come to be recognized through its many printings as the definitive work in its field. Dr. Hereward Carrington, one of the world's foremost psychic researchers, brought his vast knowledge and experience of scientific investigation to bear in editing the remarkable account of Sylvan Muldoon's out-of-the-body experiences. Mr. Baldoon began projecting involuntarily at the age of 12. He was fascinated by his experiences and began to experiment with the phenomenon. This book is a result of those experiments. The astral cord, traveling speed and ranges, type of flying dreams, the fundamental laws and sensation of the astral world and its inhabitants, are all recorded in abundant detail. Mr. Muldoon also provides the clearest instructions to students in the techniques of projecting astral body as well as various do's and don'ts of the astral world. The projection of the astral body, so complete in its description of the phenomenon of astral projection and the astral world, is an exciting guide for both amateurs and serious researchers. Just take a look at the table of contents and see what it has to, has to talk about here. Existence of the astral body long known. My first conscious astral projection. Astral catalepsy. I'm not going to read all this, but you can read it. Route the phantom travels in projection, some symptoms of astral exteriorization. We'll just go through the chapters. And one final chapter we have over here. Okay, you can see that's a, a, a classic. However, this is an even, I think it's probably the new classic. Let's see what it has. Well, there's nothing on the back of this one. Let's see when it was published. Well, here we've got something. Astral projection is the classic term for what today is more commonly called out-of-body experience, or OBE. In this fascinating volume, Robert Bruce is drawn on his lifetime's experience not only traveling in the astral dimensions, but teaching others to do so. 
Astral Dynamics provides all in one package a personal narrative or perspective, a personal narrative, a how to, a troubleshooting guide, and a theoretical perspective. Whether you are a skeptic, a veteran, astral projector, a novice, or an armchair traveler, there is treasure here. Astral Dynamics provides the intelligent and motivated reader with everything needed to put theory into practice. Elements of Projection Bruce's mind split theory of what actually goes on during projection. New Energy Ways His stunningly practical method of raising awareness by using touch, which Bruce calls tactile imaging. Core Skills how to succeed at the three tasks that are essential to success in astral projection. Projection technique. What you need to know to stop reading about astral projection and actually do it. The Akashic Connection. Speculations on things seen and heard while traveling in astral realms. Okay, let's kind of look at the table of contents and see if we can kind of compare that. Okay, we have the part one. Part two. Part three. As you can see, this is also quite comprehensive. Um, now, my own experience with astral projection is kind of interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna share that, but first, I'm, I guess we'll go to the last book here before I start on that. David Morehouse, Psychic Warrior, Inside the CIA's Stargate Program, The True Story of a Soldier's Espionage and Awakening. Your life will never be the same. Thus came the first chilling words to Captain David Morehouse as he sat facing the program director of Stargate the U.S. government's top-secret psychic espionage program. What we do here is train selected personnel to transcend time and space, to view persons, places, or things remote in time and space, and to gather intelligence information on the same. We want you to become one of us. The young army captain's heart nearly stopped. From Psychic Warrior. So David Moore, Morehouse in this book was actually the first book that broke the ice. It came out and talked about the, star, the CIA's Stargate program and remote viewing. Since then, a lot of books have come out about remote viewing and some of the other people trained in remote viewing have also came out that David Morehouse was the first and got into a lot of trouble because of it. So anyway, that's <clears throat> three, three books dealing pretty much with, well, remote viewing, uh, which is actually a type of, I would consider type of mental projection. Now, I'm going to talk about my own experiences and because it's, it's kind of kind of interesting but difficult. I, because I started out, I crossed the Great Abyss back in 1991 and merged with Source, which is the crown at the Crown Chakra 
When I started projection, I started doing what is termed helionic projection. Helionic projection is where you travel out the top of the head as opposed of from the heart chakra or from the solar plexus chakra or anything like that. And I had sometimes when I projected, I, I could experience I experienced that the cable, the cord, if you will, that came out the top of my head was like a good two or three inches thick. I mean, it was a cable. It was extremely strong. But it had always been, until recently, it has always been really difficult, if you will, to really come out in the, in the lower levels because I was operating with the high vibration and the lower levels tried to just kind of eject. It forced me out until recently where I've, with the lower levels have actually become resonant with the highest levels. That's because Gaia has actually ascended and so it's a whole new program now and I'm getting excited about actually coming up to speed with etheric projections and being able to teach those things but what I'm going to say is about uh, that the whole idea of astral projections are they real this kind of stuff or mental traveling remote viewing and I can say that most of, most of my experience and my knowledge and my skill has come from the experience of thousands of astral conflicts, astral battles, where I was essentially fighting for my life, <laughs> or it seemed like that at first. And then later, uh, became more more like uh, a nuisance uh, conflicts. But for these people who say, oh, astral, project astral projection or remote viewing, that's a bunch of BS, it was in these conflicts that you act that I actually, became convinced of the reality of these experiences and the realities of these these experiences I mean I mean of the real of the astral world of, of the thing because they, they would happen they could happen when I'm wide awake. They could happen in my dreams. They could happen in visions or mental projecting. In other words, there were, they, I was reactive to them and they were reactive to me in specific ways. Sometimes this would happen. Sometimes that would happen. So there is no doubt about that. And... Over the years, let me say over 30 years of astral battles of one kind or another going into the etheric, I have been, I have become an expert at that. And I'm keen to even become more expert as I explore the etheric levels more deeply than ever before, which is why, and I'm bringing this out for the first time, I am going to be, in a few weeks, I'm going to be opening up and starting a course which is called the Oak Etheric Warrior Training Program, where I can teach, where I'm going to teach whoever's interested the best that I know how to, to do what I have been able to do 
to be function at the levels that I've been able to function, to develop all of their astral bodies and etheric bodies and integrate them for full functionality. Uh, and I will be talking about that later when the time comes to kind of open up that program. But that's just a little heads up for that. So anyway, that's it for these these books to study. This is a there's so many people, myself included, in the beginning. Everybody, it's like everybody wants to do astral projection. But very few people actually are doing it or know how to do it or do it regularly. And it can be a skill that is mastered at will to where you can do it consciously and effortlessly. Uh, routinely, I do astral probes, which are more like remote viewing, but they're also a form of mental projection if I just want to scope things out. And herein lies something that I'm going to bring up, and I'll be bringing up a lot of times. We live in a world that does not believe in the soul. It does not believe in metaphysical realities. It does not believe in the supernatural. Uh, it does not believe in energy beings. And the time has come. You can't sit on the fence anymore. I've spent all, all these, a lot of posts and books and things like that, and saying, okay, I'm trying to give a balanced viewpoint. It's time to get off that fence. It's time to say you either, either believe in this stuff or you don't. And I believe and I'm willing to teach other people that want to believe, that want to experience the same way. And I'll leave you with that thought. Till next time.